Hey everyone, Ariel Labs here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. Also, ring that bell if you want to be notified about new videos. This is a review of the Panerai Submersible Mic Horn. This represents a new take on the submersible. This is the non-limited edition. This is the PAM00984. There is a similar version, which has a blue dial, which is double the price and comes with an adventure. More on that in another story. 47 millimeter wide, 300 meter water resistant diver in titanium, eco titanium, which is apparently recycled or more environmentally friendly titanium. I don't really know, but it sort of goes with the story that Panerai is going with. You also have recycled plastic and the strap. Again, it sort of goes with this ecologically, socially responsible theme. Love it or not, it sort of adds a new flavor. Really big about this watch is the new dial, and that is the new hour markers, newish hour markers, and the new handset. You have a definitely more interesting subsidiary second style, a new contemporary font for the bezel, which is done in relief in titanium. And it's actually done in a very high quality and brand new looking hands that I've, I've come to like. It's not a radical departure, but it's definitely something fresh and new and Panerai need, needs fresh and new things. And so this is a risk and I think it was successful. Not everyone will like every piece of this and I talk a little bit about some quirks. Um, one of the things is that the logo and the text on the dial is actually printed on the reverse of the sapphire crystal. The sapphire crystal is less domed than before, so it actually has less glare, which is good. And the case is overall, at least from my experience, a little bit thinner than some of your standard uh, Panerai submersible watches. Inside the watch is the P9010. That's an automatic movement made in-house by Panerai. And the back of the watch is a bit of a missed opportunity. It is a motif of a whale and some sea creatures and Mike Horn, who is an explorer, his signature, but I think that the macho-ness of this watch could have been a little bit better mimicked on the case back. Again, 47 millimeters wide, always a good standard size for Panerai. It's got that good look. It always looks a bit oversized, but pretty much only Panerai's and a few other watches can get away with a truly oversized look where it actually extends beyond your wrist. I have smaller wrists. I thought that this was very comfortable, legible. Does it radically change the Panerai wearing experience? No. Does it offer something new and in a welcome way? Yes. Is it expensive? Absolutely. It's $20,500. They're definitely reaching a particular type of exclusivity and uh, price point there where there's certain consumers that can afford and others who can't. And that's probably a wise thing for the brand right now that needs to sort of define itself in a very, very crowded space. Panerai has a sex appeal and a mojo to it that others are often jealous of. And now that they have a little bit of a fresh design ethos, I think this is interesting. So you can see more about the Panerai submersible mic horn on a blog to watch. Thanks.